If I decide to cut the fuck up, I go props with you. Alright, Douglas, so... Douglas, man, I thought my name was Ashe. Good God. Good God. Ashe. Thank you. For all y'all out there who be calling me Douglas, I'm okay with that, my government name, but uh, I prefer Ashe over everything. Let's deal with this right here. Alright, Ashe, so getting into the book of woman. Yeah. You tell me a lot of thinking when you, when you wrote he threatened to kill himself. He threatened to kill himself. Yeah, that's a... Uh, you got a, a lot of relationships. I deal with a lot of sisters and a lot of brothers out there who they use their magic. They use their um, their energy, the level of persuasion, and they threaten to kill women. Now, I'm not saying that there's not some brothers out there who won't do it because we, we hear all the time about the murder-suicides online. Definitely domestic violence. Yeah, but... It really upsets me because we used to have a system where women had strong brothers, strong fathers. That when brothers got out of line and they became abusive, her dad would show up, her brother would show up and be on some gangster shit. Now, a lot of these brothers, not the majority of them, because some of them have chemical problems, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them are just messed up mentally. This brother killed himself in the past, like, good God. Hmm. Some of these brothers use suicide as an excuse to get out. He don't want work. He don't want to be a productive member of society. He didn't fell in love with this woman, this woman. And I try to tell women all the time, you don't understand how powerful your energy is. Right. You don't understand that when you had sex with this brother, you completely, it's almost like you put a spell on him. It's like you bewitched him. He's never had no energy like yours. Pure, strong. Vibrate high, all the good stuff. He's been with you, everything been going right in his life. He's been with you, his whole life has been, I mean, he's been blessed with everything. Your favor has ran over to him. Mm -hmm. Everything you got has ran over to him. So with dealing with this chapter, it was more of me uh, writing something for sisters who are going through this as we speak at, at the moment. And man, it's, it's going on a lot because men, there's a lot of men out there abusing women, beating women killing women, threatening to kill women. But I wanted to write this specific chapter. Uh, I wanted to tap into the minds of certain women because I deal with them so much on a daily basis. This is something that I'm hearing about all the time. So I just wanted to um, go in and, and write that in and just pull something let sisters know that there's a way out, but also be safe because some of these brothers really want to murk themselves. And y'all got to be very careful about Dealing with guys like this because these guys are, they're completely gone. And we're dealing with human beings, especially the brothers who ain't got no souls. The brothers with the souls, I mean, they can kill themselves. These brothers are doing drugs, they're smoking the strong weed, doing mushrooms, doing coke. He, suicide to them is the norm. And I know most people won't get it, but that's pretty much what's going on, you know. What you think about that? I mean, being a woman, what do you think about that? Am I am I close to it? I'll leave some stuff out, but what do you think? No, definitely. Oh, so the my, the only question I do have um, for a woman trying to get out of this situation, like, what would you what what would you feel would be like an advisable? Man, plan? it's hard. It's hard because there's so many different. Like, there's not a real legit answer for that for women to get out because I've talked to sisters who moved away. Hmm. They hunt them down. Hmm. I've talked to sisters who go to the police. They piss him off. He's not afraid of the police. I talk to sisters who go to their families, and their families are like, girl, just just, just deal with it. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. So it's hard for women to deal with that situation because society is not set up to help them. Right. Um, there was a time in a village where if a brother got out of pocket, all the men dealt with him. We ran him out the village or we punished him severely. But nowadays we're not doing that. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a really sad situation um, with the women who've been abused, who've been beat, who've been taken advantage of. You know, there's brothers killing themselves every day, killing girls and killing families. Mm -hmm. But we, the first thing we got to do is acknowledge the problem, acknowledge the problem and the issue. Definitely. Once we acknowledge the problem and the issue, then we're able to deal with it.